Hey guys, it's your friendly neighborhood editor, Michael Garber here to show you a quick tip on how to match different cameras using Final Cut and Resolve. The point of this quick tip is that it's gonna be really quick. So I'm gonna to try to speak fast and get through this as uh, uh, well, uh, fast as I can. Okay, here we go. So this is my magic bullet, <clears throat> so to speak, my one shot chart that I've shot with my GH2, GH3, and GH4. Now you may have noticed that there's no light on the GH2, but what I did is I turned into the key light, which is on the main camera, which is the GH4 here. We see the key lights coming from the left. And then on the GH3, I did the same thing. I was pointing at the main camera and then I turned uh, into the key light uh, just to get the same values that would be on the GH4. Okay, so now all I need to do is throw these into a timeline, which I've already created here. And we'll just export that XML to the desktop so that we can bring this into Resolve. We'll tab over to Resolve. We're going to go ahead and import the XML. And it is simple and quick. And then it uh, reconnects to all those clips. All right, now quickly we're going to move over to the color panel here. And we're going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and find the frame here. And I'm just going to add a marker. Now we want to make sure that we have the color chart selector selected there and that brings up what would be the uh, the x-ray color checker we can change that to the simpty the dsc lab simpty one shot chart and all you need to do is match the size of the colors there and so i'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this so that you can see this on the other two cameras <laughs> Okay, we're done with that. Now I'll just go back to the GH2 there and we will go back to our marker frame. You can see the blue marker there. Hit the match button, very simple. Go ahead and hit the match on the GH3 and now we're on to the GH4. I'll go ahead and hit the match. Now all you need to do is export the LUTs. Right click on the clip, generate 3D LUT. We'll save that to the desktop. We'll call that GH2, GH3, and GH4. Okay, that saved the LUTs to the desktop. And we're going to open up System Preferences where I have installed LUT Utility. And LUT Utility is going to read these LUTs and allow Final Cut to read them. So I'll just go ahead and drag these three LUTs into the LUT panel here, and we'll move back into Final Cut. I actually need to quit Final Cut and restart it, and then the LUT utility effect will be able to see those LUTs there. How many times can I say LUT? Okay, let's go over to a new timeline that I've created here, a blank timeline, and I've already made the multi-clip from the three shots, so we'll just go ahead and add that into the timeline. And there we go, let's get a nice frame of me not really smiling there. And uh, I'll open up the uh, info pane and we'll open up the effects panel. Go ahead and select the clip. Going to double click the LUT, apply LUT filter under that. And this is the uh, GH4 here. I'll go ahead and select the GH4 LUT. We see, notice, I don't know if you can notice, but the, the skin tones of my face changed a little. I'm going to hit option two. That's going to change to the second camera angle, which is the GH3. Double click there add the GH3 LUT there. We can see a bit of a change in the overall brightness and color. And then hit option three to go to the GH2. Double click the apply LUT and add the GH2 LUT to that. Now, the reason why I'm doing it this way is so that when I'm editing between angles, when I hit one, the uh, LUT that I applied is attached to that angle. If I hit three, which is uh, the GH2, we see that LUT, if I hit two, the GH, which is the GH3, that LUT is there, and if I hit one, the GH4 LUT is on there. Let's move over to the timeline that I've edited. Drum roll, please. Okay, now let's see the magic and the beauty of matched cameras. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Just amazing. Brings a tear to my eye every time I watch it. All right, that's the before and that's the after. Again, let's go back to the before. 
We see that the GH2 has a bit of a flatter uh, tone. I was in Cine D on that and it adds a little bit more uh, gain in the darker regions. The GH3 has more of a crunchy look, and it's actually similar to the GH2 here, but generally speaking, the two and the three have pretty different looks. And then when applied, we see that everything is very well balanced now, and then you can go in and add some additional grading. All right, that was about as quick as I could do this demo. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.